One great function of the Library Database Reference USA is to combine searching for jobs with information about the companies posting those jobs. This is a great resource when you're job searching. On the Reference USA homepage, click on the U.S. Jobs and Internships section. The default is for the quick search to search by keyword or job title and a city, state, or zip code. For instance, here's a search for if I want to work in marketing somewhere in Wisconsin. This is going to retrieve many results because it is so general, so if you're not sure what you want to do or where you want to work, this can be a really good option to explore. You can see I get several hundred results. This gives me a lot of options. If I want to know a little bit more about each job, click on the job title. It will take you either to Indeed.com or to the company's homepage, where you can read more about the job description, qualifications, and how to apply. After you've learned a little bit about the job, it's a good idea to figure out a little bit of information about the company. Click the company name here. This will open a new tab with a company profile. The company profile provides location, contact information, and a list of all of their jobs that are currently open. We're going to see what major industries they work in, a brief profile description, how big this organization is in terms of number of employees, and approximately how much their sales volume is. Keep in mind that private companies like this one aren't obligated to release this information, so sometimes these numbers are not available or the numbers are rough estimates. If we go down further, you can get the names of people who are in management, and you can also get an idea of how much they're spending for some of the bigger line items on their budget, maybe payroll or advertising. This can give you an idea of how big this company is, how much business they're doing. You can also use these numbers to compare a couple of companies. I'm going to jump back to my search results list now, and you can either click Revise Search if you want to try a few new keywords, or we can go to New Search, which is what I'm going to do because I want to show you this Advanced Search option. On the Advanced Search tab, you can still do a keyword search, but you can also search for a specific job type, such as part-time, full-time, contract, internship, or temporary work. You can also look for a specific salary range, but keep in mind that not all job postings will share the salary up front. Let's say I'm not concerned with location right now, but my dream internship would be with Google. I can see lots of results for that search. These are in many different locations. Mountain View, California is the headquarters, but there are lots of other locations too. If you want, you can go back and add a keyword limiter based on your area of study or a city or a state. But either way, you can click on the title to get more information about the job itself or click on the company name in order to find more about that company and location. If you have further questions about what you should be researching about companies as you job search, check out the Preparing for Job Interviews guide at libguides.uww.edu slash job search. You should also check out Handshake, which is UWW's jobs board for both student jobs, internships, and after graduation jobs. Finally, at some point you should get in touch with career and leadership development on campus. Besides posting a variety of on-campus and off-campus jobs and internships, they also have career advisors available to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, help you with your resume, and much more. So don't hesitate to use these resources when you are job searching.